the country on the internet and the CIA. Yep. Told yep. Them. Yep. But you know the Virgin or whatever. Matter of fact, most of the Virgin you get be the CIA Virgin because they be trying. No, but he's responsible. He's responsible. Oh, oh, check, 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 I guess so. Check, 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 one, mic one, okay. Mukasa, it's one, one. You know I don't like no white bread, man. Like no white rice. <laughs> no white bread, no white women. You know that. Rule. <laughs> Blackout. Sister right, sister right down in the West End. She make all mine. Pass, I ain't got no passport. I'm gonna be getting my passport. Where is it? Child support, but I ain't living child support. Can't even got five years. Damn. Damn. We live living more than what you need. Yeah. But if you get that living in America, though, the more than what you need, might not be. <laughs> I got five children. Made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So that gotta be made up too. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So keeping Saturdays and studying on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Setting myself right out of the black atheist. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. Make us believe, black atheists, black atheists. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So keeping Saturdays and studying on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Studied myself right out of the pool. Black atheists, black atheists. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So that gotta be made up too. Black sun in the hizzle, or shizzle dizzle. Got another episode of Black Atheists of Atlanta where conversation rules the nation and we use information to bag it up where we come with a problems and solutions from a non-spiritual, non-religious, basically non-speed perspective. And I want to introduce my... <laughs> General and comrade, got Baba Mukasa and Brother Unk. Revolution. 
Black African power, a well-organized lie, defeats a disorganized truth every time. We've been having some very interesting shows. We're going to make sure Africa get its props today. Got the information. We're going to throw it down. We ain't shooting from the hip. I'm coming with the scholarship. What's up there, Black Sun? What's good with you, brother? What's going on, Aunt? Yeah, today, this week, I want to deal with administration mm -hmm. of government. You know, last week we talked about um, socialism. We talked about communism. We talked about capitalism. Three functioning uh, economical systems which work in the world today, systems that we are recognized with, whether you live in America or the South Americas or you live in Russia or Cuba or, you know, those are three systems. And so, um, you know, we took those systems and we kind of critiqued them and kind of looked over them, kind of compared them, kind of, we debated them, you know. And um, this week I want to deal with the uh, administrations because I know you had a problem with Mao Zedong, you had a problem with Fidel, you had a problem with a lot of those communist administrations. Great people. Great you know, people. the administrations. Now, Great people. Great um, people. now Mukasa. Uh, I know you you know half of the people I just mentioned. Yes, sir. You wanna I not only know them, I served them. Oh you served them, know some of them some of their armies. Okay, you know, brother Uncle, he, he had some have a problem with the administration there, you know. I, you know. Explain some of your uh your encounters. You 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 know, you serving over there. Cause I you know, I know uh, well I'm a soldier for Africa and that I work with uh S N C C the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, and we worked and fought hand in hand with people like uh, Fannie Lou Hamer, Ella Baker, Martin King, Jim Foreman, right. Stokely Carmichael, A. Trap Brown, and that's just to name a few. But uh, through this fight for human rights and civil rights, we had to now talk about our people hungry and being exploited in the worst way, we were still in slavery. So we went out, we fought side by side with men like Martin King. Okay. And we fought with Martin King, and when we began to go out and fight for African rights or black rights to force them to pass certain bills and to stop the exploitation, it was the African governments that spoke up for us. Kwame Nkrumah in Ghana, the Mamaos in Kenya, uh, Lumumba in the Congo and other leaders spoke up for the liberations of us inside this country and Kwame Nkrumah and the different African leaders like Sekou Toure in Guinea embarrassed America so badly that they went on and pushed themselves to pass what they call the Civil Rights Bill because they raised questions how you gonna call yourselves African friends and got black people or African people inside the United States going in back doors and saying yes sir to white people and being lynched and hung and murdered in the streets. And they forced the United States to pass a civil rights, voters rights bill. But not only that, Mao Zedong in China, he once, uh, he spoke up for us because the Chinese revolution, when they got power, the one thing they did is focus on brothers and sisters in the United States and he wrote a paper called Spectrum of Black Power. I remember he helped out Robert F. Williams too. And Robert Williams That's and right. many of us, when the white man had his ropes and was trying to lynch us or shoot us in the back, or uh, put us in his jails and prison, if we could escape to places like Cuba or China, they would honor us and put us on the radio and let it, our television and honor us and let us tell the world how the United States was treating us and murdering us. So. Our rev revolution became intertwined with the revolution in South and Central America, with Fidel, with Nicaragua's revolution, with the revolution that was taking place in Guatemala and El Salvador and other areas in South and Central America. And we linked our struggle with the struggle of Africa's liberation, with the South Africa, uh, mm. uh, Zimbabwe, Angola, Mozambique, Guinea-Bissau was led by Amakakabra, Seiko Toure, Kwame Nkrumah, that ideologically guided us and gave us some intellectual direction. But when we united our movement, one of the things that all of them had in common was the great leadership 
a Marcus Garvey and men like Du Bois and Paul Robeson, and they said to us, freedom is, you're fighting for freedom, but all freedom is based on land, mm -hmm, and okay. your land is Africa. And so we came to Marcus Garvey's position, we'll never be free until Africa's free. Africa's our motherland, Africa's the land of our ancestors, and this land is rich with diamonds and gold and oil. This land is rich with your culture and your experiences mm -hmm. and your history. And until you look that way and lean that way and go that way toward Africa, we will always be slaves and always have a slave mentality. And we have to stop the forces that come to Africa to steal our diamonds and gold and oil. These are the same forces that stole us from Africa and put us in slavery and that would be the people inside the United States, France, Britain, and Germany. That has the economic system called capitalism, where the rich get richer and the poor get poor. So I'll stop there, and the well, last point is that the one word that put us all together, all black leaders, all African leaders throughout the world, the word is called Pan-Africanism, and that That's just right. means worldwide African unity, worldwide so-called black unity. And until we have that, there would be a million more Trayvons, or uh, Emmett Tibbs, or uh, Martin King, or Malcolm X, or Nat Turner's. So, brother, uh, I'll right. stop there. All right. Mm -hmm. Brother yeah. Unk, you are- uh, Yeah, Mao Tse Chung, he got a kill rate of about 45 million. I just want to put that out there. And so we see that these Europeans or Chinese, whenever they have a revolution, they want to kill half of their own people. We see that, 45 million, people starving. That's the reality of that. I'm not saying the revolution people don't get hurt, but when you start talking about killing 45 million of your own people, uh, I think some type and of adjustment. And get all off the time. Some, did some, right, but, that, but that's a European mind kill rate. Let me get to culture, because what we're really talking about is culture here. That's what Brother Unk want to bring to the table. So let's see if the Europeans understand what culture is. This is European college textbook, anthropology. Okay? We're going to find out how these Europeans think how important culture is. It says, on the basis of cultural learning, people create, remember, and deal with ideas. They grasp and apply specific systems of symbolic meaning. An anthropologist, Clifford Gies, defines culture as ideas based on cultural learning, symbols. Cultures have been characterized as sets of control mechanisms, plans, recepts, rules, instructions, okay? What computer engineers call programs for the governing and behavior. See, you be programmed in your culture. It said, these programs are absorbed by people through uh, enculturation and particular traditions. People gradually internalize, right, and previously established system of meaning, symbols. They use this culture system to define their world, express their feelings, and make their judgments. This system helps guide their behavior, right, and perception throughout their lives. So we understand that the European, according to the book dealing with anthropology, that means dealing with all human behavior. Okay. They understand culture. They get it. They, they, they know that once you learn a foreign culture, it's like a computer program that governs your mind. Real basic. So what I advocate is going back to your traditional African culture of governing systems, and that's the information I'm going to bring today. I'm going to give you traditional African governing systems based on African culture. That's what I want to do. Okay, well, let me mention some functioning uh, governing systems as, uh, as applied as in modern times. We got, let me define democracy. Government by the people. Basically, people are democratically elect uh, president, what not, to uh, govern. Then you have republic, government which chief of state who is not a monarch. Then we have a theocracy governed by divine guidance. Let me repeat that again, a theocracy government, uh, government by divine guidance, hmm. okay? Then we got monarchy, absolute power by one person, mm -hmm. okay? You got dictatorship, government and power to one person or clique. Then you got parliament, which is in England, they had nobility, they had the clergy and commons called together to form laws, much like our 
uh, legislative system like the Congress and the Senate. Then you have the legislative, uh, executive and judicial, which is here in America. You got the legislative, which Congress and Senate that make the laws. You got the judicial, which is the feds and nine judges who interpret the Constitution. Then you got the executive, which is the administration who enforces the law. So my question is, we talk about you know nationhood and we talk about um, different forms of government. And so what I want to do today here with Brother Unk and Mukasa and soon to be Yanga, just come on in, ghetto style. Um, I want to compare all these systems and, and just missed based on though. definition. You missed the dog. Yeah. Yang, what's up, man? What's going on? Ghetto style. No, no, come in, ghetto style. Just come on in. Come on in. You know how we do it. All right. Black African pop. Black sun. Thank you. Black sun. Yo. It's very interesting. When you went into your governmental systems, uh -huh. you missed traditional African. I didn't hear no traditional African oh, term. I, well, I mentioned one that actually falls under uh, Egypt, theocratic, theocr uh, theocracy. theocracy. Yeah, theocracy. Yeah, now, I let, can let me you repeat must, this again. So Yang, hold on, hold on. So, so Yang can hear these definitions. You got easy. a democracy, which is governed by the people. <laughs> uh -huh. You got a republic, which is governed by a chief or state who is not a monarchy. You got a theocracy, which is governed by divine guidance. Oh. Then you got a uh, monarchy, absolute power by one. Oh, I forgot to throw in anarchy, which is no government. Mm -hmm. You got dictatorship, government, and the power to one person or clique. You got a parliament, which is a nobility. You got the clergy and commons called together for law, kind of like our uh, legislative. Mm -hmm. Like their legislature, not ours. Huh? Like their legislature. Oh, yeah, American they, yeah. yeah. government and American senate and senators and congressmen, they are not our government right. is their government right and that we oppose to it and they're a bunch of nothing but a bunch of hypocrites right that and we I, have absolutely no respect for. now i don't mention now i know in egypt they had a theocracy mm -hmm. meaning basically the in a definition of government by divine guidance mm -hmm. so you know um where you get that from then did he just make that up a theocracy he made that up didn't he? i think there's a real form of government in fact, not only, not only, not only, not only did, hold on, hold on, not only did Egypt have a, I think it was Akhenaten, who's a most modern, and he said he wanted one guy, and he was forced. So he was forcing not only, you know what I'm saying, one guy, so forcing your beliefs. So yeah, that's a theocracy. theocracy. That's yeah, all day and every day. Uh, what they say, uh, uh, Iran has. Right. right. A theocracy. That's okay, right. now, let me, let me get right in on that. First of all, Akhenaten, he simply moved the capital, and he chose to, to acknowledge the most high. High noon. Atum, which is simply the most high position of the sun. That is when the sun is at its hottest position. He honored his ancestors, according to Dr. Ben, a uh, black man of Niles' family, I believe it's 2.30. Okay, when he talks about Agnaughton and how he was trying to rid the enemy that had breathed in. When the priesthood had started to get a little corrupt there, so he was trying to breed them out of it. Okay, so no, divine from an African context is what? Those simple, just rulers, those who handle the needs of the people. They, you're supposed to be the force of the people, right? You're supposed to guide them. Let me give you some simple things. Oh, well, hold, that, hold on, hold on, let me ask uh, Yang a question. Let me finish quick. my point, though. You cut me off. I just but you cut me point. off, though. I was asking you a question. Hold on. hold on. There now. is no state on. on property, right? The final say on distribution, right, and use of resources was responsible not to the state but to the people. I'm going to say this again. There is no state on property in traditional Africa. The final say on distribution and use of resources was responsible not to the state but to the people. These systems make, watch this, we start talking about capitalism, socialism. Let me say these systems make no provision for the women to be equal. No dual sex socialism or capitalism. No dual sex rulership. So I'm going to introduce dual sex rulership that was in traditional Africa. And I'm going to give you all the African okay, states hold, did that. Hold, hold, hold on, let me finish. Hold, 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 let me hold, finish. Hold, the women in many hold, African hold. societies were, were oh, and man. continue to be in charge of the markets, economic powers, and land. Land transfer, right, through the Metronel Live. Okay? The government system always follows and accompanies religious systems. So when they put in a government system, they first, they put in a religions. We talking about European capitalism or socialism or, or communism. Remember, they give you religion, 
Then they, right behind that comes that governmental system. Now you can go ahead, Yang. Okay, now Yang, let me ask you a question. Based on what uh, Unc read there, um, it's a theocracy. So my question to you, as a Muslim, how is that can a you, hold on, can you unite all well, people how under, how is that hold on, you, in, come on, no, come I'm on, just asking you a question, um, you said trip. that, I want to know how said, I because it, I said the land do not belong, uh, right, to the government, how is that a, a theocracy, black? It's a theocracy because the Egyptians governed by divine gods, were the pharaohs, was he not divine? First of all, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, but hold on, but I'm asking you your question, I'm asking you your question. That's a Greek word, that means burnt black faces. Black people don't get burnt black faces when they get in Africa. This, this is totally out of order. We in order? Go this, ahead. No, this is out of order. order. Last two weeks. Last two weeks, he was out of Jenga order. Question. Now we're in order. No, we in order. We're in order my yacht right now. No. Go ahead. Let, uh, oh, uh, my goodness. First of all, to answer uh, Son's question, all the people, I don't think that all the people will ever be united under theocracy. Thank you. Never, never would that work. Secondly, the thing, say the thing about. We so, talking about Kemet now. Right. Prove to Kemet. Right? I, I don't, did yeah. they thought that they divine thinking had something to do with some spook God? Prove right. that right here, right now. And I give me the reference. Right. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it right now. Don't just say it. Wait, wait, wait. My second thing yeah. I want to address, under a uh, socialist ideology, like you were saying, the dual leadership, the women and the male leadership, under socialist ideology, the ideal socialism is to do away with sexism. So there is no, you know, uh, like you say, that so-called role of male, female, it's, it's everyone produces, everyone. So we get away from uh, the, uh, what do they call those? The, uh, what is that called, Baba, when the man is, what is that called? Or oh, hierarchies no, no, no. or... Uh, Patriarchy. Yeah, yeah, that, that type yeah. of, that type yeah. of thing. In the, in the, yeah, in an the, in the, in the ideal socialist setting, that the, the sexism and classism are two of the biggest things that are done away with. Yeah. Okay. And also to the point that I think it was made also that uh, in traditional Africa under mm -hmm. communalism, mm -hmm. then the woman and man had equal roles and Thank even you. the women had greater roles. And sometimes the leaders, the women was the leaders and the most dominant ones of society. So under traditional Africa communalism, there was equality um, and nobody had interest over the people. The people was always the interest right. of the masses. I think one of the things that throw us, and, and this is where it's going to take Ankh to come in, is really one of the things that throw us is the language. Because even when we say, you know, with all due respect, uh, Bob, but when we say that women would have lived something, women would have rolled, men would have, if we're talking about monarchies, if we're talking about queendoms and kingdoms, then we're talking about eventually that being spread with imperialism. So it all goes ties back into mistake. a political understanding. So into that's why I say so into well, it's mistake. into the role of what a king in Africa meant. See what Talk we have to that. do okay, exactly what we on. have to do is stop defying ourselves by, by European, European concepts and ideas. All right, well let me say this real quick though. Based on now I know a democracy works on the majority. Right. Okay. Now a majority of people that are into myot, myot is a behavior modification. Mm. Which and makes it a uh, which, which makes hold, it on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, what makes it a religion, makes right? It a religion. So anytime you try to impose a religion on people, then it causes hostility. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because that's why you have wars with like Muslims, mm -hmm. Christians, and now you're coming in with you know any nah. type of any type of adjustment of any type of behavior is going to cause hostility. So what we need to do is concentrate on, like I said, economical systems and. Like I said, I like the democracy where we all, you know, yeah, come in and vote. Like I like. Like we live in now. Well, explain it, Mukasa. America, this is a hypocrisy. That's right. 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 I agree. And, uh, I totally agree. Uh, also, I want to make a point that we Africans had our own religion for thousands and thousands of years, mm -hmm. and our own culture, and we had two major invasions: the Arab who brought in Islam That's right. and who brought in Arab culture, Arab language, Arab dress, and they began to dominate Africans and even take our land and put us in slavery and make, and the Africans who were educated into Islam, many of them began to act in the interest of Arabs and seeing Arab culture as most important and most as dominant and began to undermine our culture and we can see that today mm -hmm. where they're having a war in Timbuktu that's and right. the Africans that's coming in under the so-called Islamic culture mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. destroying and tearing down Timbuktu, right. which was one of the most oldest educational centers in the world. And then you had the yeah. Euro-Christian who come to Africa 
in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Bible, and in the name of religion, bringing Europeanism into Af Africa and killing us by the million, stealing everything they could get their hands on, including us, and bringing us over here. And in the name of Christianity and religion, they were the most violent and the most uncivilized behavior toward human beings. And they did it in the name of Jesus, in the yes, name sir. of the Bible, and they're nothing but hypocrites. And I say that to say what? the name of the first slave ship was called Good what? Slave what? Ship Jesus. Right. Hold on, yeah, I'm going, Mike. I can't let y'all get me today. No, I, to uh, I, 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 I think the mistakes are always very clear, Black, that first of all, you need governing principles and rules and regulations. That's for African people. Now, by the time you come to somewhere else, they're lawless people. Remember, some of the words we use was like, I move, meaning you're a terrorist, meaning you follow no rules and regulations. Now, you can call it a religion if you want to. I call it an African governing system. Sometimes people need to be governed. I don't mean no harm about that. Right. M meaning in African, traditional African setting, right, the family governed itself first. You wouldn't even make it to the daggone village leader. Mm -hmm. That get taken care of at home. Mm -hmm. So let me get into, from, this is from the Black Journal, the Journal of Black Studies. Now, this is peer-reviewed work now on the subject matter of African governing systems. Now, we're talking about dual-sex governing systems. I'll let y'all know how that work real fast, okay? The Ashanti, y'all know who they is, West yeah. Africa, right? They say the queen mother seems to have jurisdiction in her own court over women connected with her own attendance and also cases of disputes between chief and his wives. She appears to have judicion, ju judicion also in certain cases where males and litigants it, it was and is, I believe, still the practice of application being made by both parties. It says to have cases transferred from the chief to the queen's mother's court where litigation is cheaper. So see, the women do it a little bit cheaper. You know how they do, right? It says the, right. the queen mother had and still has in an ever lessening degree, because of colonialism now, right, a great influence over all women. She attends ceremonies connected with the birth and puberty, and is or was personally connected with the morals, right, of the young generation. That's guidelines, rules and regulations set by culture to tell you how you're supposed to govern your actions. That's not a religion. See, watch this. Going in real fast, because we're going in deep. Black African power. We're sitting here with the information. We're going to the papyrus of Ani. Okay? In the papyrus of Ani, people make the mistake to study Egyptology. I'm not an Egypt. I don't study Egypt, right? My parents are from Kemet. You feel me? So I'm studying myself. That was before Egypt. Black African power. You feel me? Egypt is a Greek name. So the papyrus of Ani, you think this religion, right? From the longer mind. Let me finish. Hold on, Black. Wait, we got a time. Uh, wait, I, I, there wasn't no time in the last two weeks. Let me put this in. Right here, what we have is the papyrus of Ani. What you see right now, you see the court system now. These are the Supreme Court judges. People make the mistake in thinking it's religion. No, this is how you judge yourself, right? Then you see the feather of Maya, the woman. She sits there as a judge, okay? You got the court recorder right here. So let me ask a question. Hold on. The court recorder recording the I events, yeah. right? You got the question. This is, this is courting the events, right? Then what you have is you have the chief justice sitting on the throne, okay? We all know in Africa, just in Africa, the throne, the seat of power is the woman and the male sits on that. So right here, this is your first fundamental understanding, right, of the judicial system, which is part of the governmental system. Well, here's, 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 here's where I have the problem with, 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 I don't have a problem with our governmental system in Africa. I have a problem with Kemet being used synonymous with the continent of Africa. Absolutely. Because, Good question. because Good question. my question Good is question. this, what about, what about outside of Kemet if that's presented? Like say, you know, a few Africans, we go according to that then what's going to have to happen is we're going to have to have wars, enforcement of that law, uh, the whole thing. When, when we're saying, with especially in socialism, that is a powering of the people with direct, uh, we don't believe in the, like, we was going into administrations. I know somebody was going to bring up Russia, this and that. They took it and turned it into a state capitalism. So there is, it goes into a whole political study, but what I'm saying is this. If we come with a cultural view, a I mean, one cultural view, not a... Uh, Pan-Africanist nationalist cultural view of us, us all saying that we derive from Africa, but if we come with one specific cultural view, one specific religious view, or even one specific political view, we stand the chance of alienating and isolating other Africans. 
Not in Africa. You ever read the book? You ever read the book Pre-Colonial Africa by Sheikh Andy Diop? You ever read that book? You face the coup d'etat also, right? Yeah, a big coup d'etat. But see, we got a misunderstanding. Hold on. It's a white right See, no matter how you explain it, it's certain people that's not going to accept my act. Because, it, like I said, when you have you all the, accept my yacht. Let's see. Say, hold on, hold Let's on, see. Hold on, hold on, keep hold on. talking. You interrupting me? I no, you're right. Absolutely, me. absolutely, bro. Okay. Absolutely. The point that I'm making is that you have people in the majority. Now, Unc might disagree with it. People treating my as a religion. Yeah, I agree you with you on saying? that. I totally agree. Right, right, and that's the majority. I totally agree. That's the majority. That's not the truth. Right, right. So, so we so got students right here. We got master teachers. The point I'm making is that, just like Unc said, you cannot. We're not monolithic with our cultures. Just like. You know, you can't say all African people come from Africa. You know what I'm saying? Right. So oh, no. Where they come from? Where they come from, Black? Hold on, hold on. Where they come from, Black? 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 Where they come from, You know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying, and please don't interrupt me, on, is I'm saying is that crazy. if you install one culture, let, let me read this definition of what fascism is, a repressive form of government that takes on police state characteristics in that all forms of political, economical, and social Opposition is forcibly suppressed to maintain status quo. Mm -hmm. That's the that United, you just described United, United States. States. Yeah, you didn't, right. you didn't yeah. describe right, but I don't, right, right, right. But, but I'm saying, yeah. but if you, but if you try to impose one type of culture on Africa, then you, you're following the slave yeah. master. You know what? Yeah. Hey, hold on, hold yeah. on. You're absolutely right. Read the book Pre-Colonial Africa by Shikanti Diop. He shows in Africa we have a cultural unity. Mm, That's yeah. called checkmate. Because what I just named the dual sex. Leadership is all through Africa. I go from the bottom of Africa to the top of Africa. But, go ahead, but, 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 go ahead, uh, You forgot to mention in your propriety, there's a priest in there. So you, you automatically set up for a theocracy. Yeah. Do you know but, what a priest is, though? We're getting it to don't, that. It don't matter. The English language, when you say priest, in the English I'm automatically language. thinking, you're right, you know absolutely. It's a theocracy. Yeah. And how many Crips and Bloods going to take that as a theocracy? Yeah. Yeah. Straight yeah. up. Yeah. Okay, go yeah. ahead. And Bob. also, uh, I think both of you made the great point that the culture, African culture, and we and what's the role of culture, mm -hmm. and that the African culture guided and directed us and built a lot. And even though a lot of us use religion or some part of religion or describe it, but what we're really trying to do is look at the culture and look at the African culture and what we were able to accomplish and do and build a continent and hold it together for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years is the African mm -hmm. culture. And if that's what they have suppressed in us mm -hmm. is our culture and made us not have knowledge of that African culture because culture is a weapon. And our African culture is the weapon that will consolidate us, bring us back together and unite us mm -hmm. and make a force. We must demand and we must study our African, African culture. culture and all of what you're describing here today is just different aspects of our African culture at different different times. You described a misunderstanding that, yeah, of African right. culture. And I Go think ahead. That that's going to be the question. I think that's the biggest thing, you know. We have declared, and here's what's going to be unfortunate, because we knocked in the CN Council, we locked in a lot of the, the, the Bang Dung con, uh, 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 <laughs> conference and everything. We're going to have to have something similar to define what is African culture, because what happens is, in us coming from a lot of uh, religious misunderstanding, we'll take one culture and we'll try to make that the supreme dominant culture of Africa as if Africa was a, uh, a country. Right. And so we have to be inclusive, just like my man Kantazuma, whom is known in the Islamic world as Man of Musa, you know what I'm saying, who was a Muslim, who has so much influence uh, in, in, in the uh, Mali Empire, right. in the uh, Mandinkan Empire, that even when he made his highs to Mecca, he has so much ri riches that he destabilized the whole market. So do, because he was a Muslim, do we X him out of African history? Mm -hmm. So we have to sit yeah. down and we have to, yeah. so, but he was a black, nah. Yeah. <laughs> Bridgley, how do you, right, right. Bridgley got to go. How, how do you do that? Bridgley because, go. How, how do, but see, that's what you I mean. That's out. what you call you revisionism. You exactly. you that's what you call revisionism. You don't, you don't so what we're going to do, you can't You don't ask nobody out, you just look at their behavior. And now you can say, Masa Musa, was either negative for us for Africa exactly. or, or positive for us Learned for that. Islam in Africa. Learned and that uh, Masa Musa uh, was converted to Islam and he worked for Arab and pushed the Arab culture mm -hmm. in Africa, mm -hmm. which is a negative influence. Checkmate. Well, 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 right. Checkmate. Uh, okay. It's not, it's not yeah. a checkmate. I'm going to tell you why checkmate. it's not a checkmate because he answered the question. That's right. 
what he said, what a lot of cultural nationalists and neo-nationalists would do, they would X him out That's right. because of the Islamic influence. What I'm saying is we can't monopolize Africa. We have right. to be open enough to take every influence, yeah. like, like Kwame mm -hmm. Nkrumah said, take, you're taking everything. That's we right. have to put it on the board. And like our elder said, Baba said, is it productive or not productive or yeah. counterproductive? Here's my yeah. point, Yang. He was suffering, right, from an inferiority complex. To accept Islam, what you're saying is, is that no, I have a. What, what you're saying is that I'm practicing a system. The Muslims come in, I now accept their system. That means whatever I was practicing, I felt it was inferior Absolutely. to what came in. That's what we suffer from in America. Okay, and for, hold on, inferiority complex. So back to the papyrus of our needs. So now we recognize, right, at 2000 BC. 3000 BC, right? This is the oldest system of governing for justice uh -huh. in court. Supreme Court, uh -huh. you got your you got Show your bailiff priest. right Show here. Where's the priest? Where's the priest? Here's your priest right here. Show the priest. Right here. Okay. They call they call the priest Haru. He's working to be a preacher in Africa to go to school for 40 years. You're a mathematician, you're a scientist, you're a biologist, oh, a you're a question. botanist, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got a question, Hold on, I, I want the question. question. Agriculture, right? I you're a question. school, high-level doctorate degree to be a so priest. What if, and I'm, hold on, black. What if black, you don't hold, accept, black, no, no, hold on, then you hold don't on, go to on, school to on. be a priest then. What if you don't accept Mayat as a system? So, so what do see. you do with those Here people? Here we go. Here we go. So ask me, all of us on this panel, let me see if you agree with what Mayat is. Since we don't really know, let's see. First, there are five, six, seven principles to my yacht. I want to know if y'all agree with them. The first one is truth of self. Do you disagree with truth of self? Look, yes or no? How about you, Black? Well, Christianity says the same thing. No, no, no. Hold on. It's not the same thing. Not the same not thing. point. Okay. Quite, okay, so you okay. don't agree so with truth of self. Second one, <laughs> reciprocity. Hold on, reciprocity, stability of family. How many of you agree with stability of your family? Yeah. Islam supports that. Hold on. I, I, that. So do you agree with support agree of family? Right. Do you? Okay, now. Uh, Order a family, community, and environment. Do you agree with being in order with your environment? If you're not in order with your environment, it will kill you. Now, balancement. Balancement with nature. Y'all agree to that? Yeah. How about righteousness? Yeah. Declaration of the truth. Yeah. Do any of y'all disagree with that? I know you do, black. And harmony. One is with each other. Right. One is with nature. Right. If you disagree with that anyway, then you end up being an Asiatic cracker anyway, anyway. and you don't so deserve to saying, live amongst African people. So what people. I'm saying, so what I'm saying Checkmate, black. is that what I'm saying How you go against that, that? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, right. hold on. That's not a religion, on, that's a way of on, acting. Hold on. Right. And I don't come on this show and lie because I practice my yacht. I tell the truth. Hold on, hold on. I do not be deceptive. This is disorder. No, this is called African time to talk. I think like even black son. How's that a religion though? You're right, you're right. That's a way of governing yourself. Black son had a point too. What was his point? What was his point? I'm going to tell you his point because coming as, becoming as, becoming as an orthodox Muslim, everything you just read with Lyle Levine, I can go in the court, iron and fine. But hold on, hold on. Let me get it. So where they steal it from? They stole it from us. And I've been saying that, but here's the point where I make. So you still a Muslim though, Younger? I'm a Muslim. See, after you just recognize I'm where it came why. from, I'm you don't want to do I'm African things. Thing. I'm going to tell you why. Maybe. Let me tell you why. Maybe. Tell you why. Maybe. Here's the checkmate. Yeah. Because yeah, you haven't there. talked about, you've talked about an ideology, but you haven't talked about mode of production, yeah. means of passing out, taxation. Wait, because yeah, because I know this, man. let me tell you this. My yacht, you when you oh, put the, when you put the title, my if you just if you just say universal principle. You haven't talked about that it, neither, though. None of y'all have talked saying. about that yet. We 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 tried to get to it. Oh, get to it then. Hold on, Yang. Stop all that. Get to that. How you gonna do that? Go on a mode of production. This this is how I'm gonna get. This is how I would do it if I was with. The first thing I would do is have a plebiscite, site, which is a calling together, coming together of all Africans, people who are African descent. I agree. Then we would not be so narrow minded on our nationalism to say what we're going to expel or what we're going to exclude. When you put a title, everything you said was the truth. When you put a title on it, yes. you lost me. Definitely. Because How I am not going to. I just gave you what it was. Because, it's called I mean, me, be, It's just called okay. Matt. But I don't care what you call it. You, you exactly. have to be truthful so to what the government. So what if I call it Islam? You do care no, what no, it's then, called. Then you're talking about somebody call it Christianity. Hold on, hold on. Then you're talking about a call, call it. Hold on, wait, wait. Somebody might call it social. Hey, Yanga, Yanga. And once you call it Islam, now you because it's Islam no is politics. That. Right. Right? Meaning that politics, politics of Arab people. Exactly. This is politics of African people. No, of course it's, it's I accept politics. politics. It's politics of Kemet people. That's, that's not the right. truth. It's politics of Kemet people. That's right. Okay. Okay. You can't claim Africa because if you claim Africa, that's totalitarian. Absolutely. Absolutely. So where, so where do people, brother, hold on, man, so where do people man, from Kemet come from? Order, where do people yeah. from Kemet come from? Africa? No, 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 where do people, no. where, where yeah, do no, the people, no. where do the people from Kemet come from? Let's talk okay. about, no, let's no. go down to Lake Chad, Lake Victoria, 
Let's go down right, there hold on, where hold the oldest hold bones hold are found. Hold on, hold on, so hold on, the hold people that didn't have it at the end of the day dogmatic. come from inner Africa, sub-Saharan African people. Okay, but, uh, you but calm down, bro. But, but my, I can't calm down because it's my time to shine. My is my Shit. is an involved my is an involved thought process. You mean to right. tell me the first people just when they came exactly? So it, it's an involved yes. it's an involved thought process from their geographical location, yes. from their cultural influences, yes. and from the influence of foreigners. So somebody on the other side of Africa who it may not come in contact with those people, may not call, even though they may have those principles, may not call it that. Who and when you get that, in, excuse me, who are these people that practice you, that Africans. outside of Africa? Out, what did you, you know of? What I'm European saying, nation practice? No, 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 I'm, I'm not talking about European nations. You just nations. said that. You said people outside of Africa. Outside of that part and of And I'm saying that you I can't said find on it. on the other side of Africa. Where? Just like, Where's the African okay, nation did not practice Now, let me tell you this. Can we go, if we go to South Africa, in the same time as that, or any part of Africa, I'm going to go look up Africa. And you mean to tell me that the whole African continent practice my. No they didn't call on. Huh? Nope. Y'all gonna come? Huh? How y'all gonna play that? Huh? You put how you gonna play that? How, how, how you gonna play that? Right. How you gonna play that? Yang? Right. May I speak That's to right. that, please? Go ahead. Uh, uh, one, let the elder say it. Uh, if you, I saw you had a book, Destruction of Black Civilization. Chancellor Williams. And that uh, he talked about how Africa had a single constitution, mm. Mm. and mm. that the religions in Africa. Whether we called them Mayotte or what have you, they were all symbol, similar, mm, that's right. and they all come from the same sources. Right. Even though you may call one Mayotte, mm -hmm. you would find a great similarity to the religion that was packed in North Africa, South Africa, East Africa, mm -hmm. and the one thing they all had in common is that they were all African, mm. and they okay, all but come the from. Bob, it, I no, you I don't see. But I'm not gonna let you ride with that. But it all bond together too. But it all bond together too. It all bond. But see, but truth this is what I'm saying. It's the truth. truth but if someone says my, if I come and my religion is Voodoo, or my religion is Ifa, mm. you know what I'm saying? And someone comes with my, if I, when I say Ifa, it becomes religion. When I say when he says my, it becomes religion. If we deal with the universal principles and the ideology, everybody can agree with that. Even the even the African Christians, the African Muslims can agree with those universal principles. But when you slap a title on it, That's it becomes it becomes an ideology or a philosophy or a theology. And when you enforce it and make that the state norm, it's like what Black Sun said, it becomes fascism. So what I'm saying is we can't be so narrow-minded that we're gonna stomp this, our culture way in Africa was Maya. That's not true. No. Well, Did you hear what I just said? Let me say this. Let me Wait, speak. everybody oh, got the this. definition of what Maya was. Let me say this. Let me say this. Hey, I'm saying. Let me say this. I agree with the principle. Listen, listen, the point listen, that I'm making, the point listen. that I'm making is that, like Yanga said, once you put a title on it, just like saying yeah. Crips of Blood. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wearing blue or red. Yeah. Wearing just, blue or red. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah. Man, uh, yeah. Is that what they teach you in Maya? To cut no, your that's the, that's wow. what Brother Uncle did after wow. Africa been cut up so in this. So what I'm saying, hold on, hold on, what I'm saying weeks, is that Maya is a theocratic religion. I was, trying, I'm black I was religion. trying not to be And you cannot brother, unite, I right. sometimes you be trying to. Yeah, man. Trying, yeah. To mis trying to mislead. Right now, right now, trying to mislead. Yeah, no, 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 African no. stuff. See that? No, 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 I think. I think. African stuff. African stuff. I think. African stuff. stuff. Right. We have to right. make sure that right. even stuff, even in our discussion. I ain't never said Islamic stuff. But it even even in our discussion, young man, we have to make sure that we remember we're talking to the millions of people out here, right? And we don't want to get lost among ourselves talking about Mayotte and what have you, and people don't know what we're talking about. And all we're saying is that there's an African culture, and we different had religion, but we called it different things. Right. We had African culture, we called it different things. And even in Africa, it's a thousand or 10,000 African languages, yes. but they're all African. Yes. They all come from our culture, and uh, the language don't have to divide us, but they can unite us. Right. And what we are saying is that we are African people, we have different aspects of our African culture, and this is the genius and the brilliance of African people that we are coming together with different forms of religions and what have you within us, but they are African religions. We have thousands of languages. We can explain to your wife or your mother how nice and sweet they are in a thousand different ways and make it clear. So we, Africa had many genius, but it's, that don't mean that we were divided because you might call it Mayotte over here, you called it Yoruba over here, right. you called it Voodoo over here, but it was all part of the African culture and it enriched us and made us who we are today and that was no contradiction. Yeah. So the African culture is what's rich and that's what all of us have been robbed of are the knowledge of our African culture 
And that's what we have to come back to because if we know and look at our African culture, we we'll love our African history, mm. we we'll love our African ancestry. And going back to another thing, our, our religion or our African religions always put the elder over everything and the ancestors. Yep. The ancestors are our God. Mm -hmm. Your mama, your great mama, your grandmama, your great right. great grandmama, and those are who we live with. And when we say gods in Africa, these were nothing but ancestors that did good Macoon. among the people that we elevate them. Sometimes we may call them queen, mm -hmm. or sometimes when they do great things like a Martin King or Marcus Garvey, we may even one day elevate these men and or these uh, people like Fannie Lou Hamer uh, mm -hmm. or Harriet Tubman. We may elevate them and they be our gods. Uh, what we're saying is these people are the ones that guide us and direct right. us and Bye -bye. teach us to love each other and work together. Hey. And that's what we are saying now. We need to fight together, work together, because the enemies that have invaded us and influenced us have made us hate among ourselves, fight among ourselves, even kill among ourselves. And that the only way we can come together is be dominated with the African culture and find our personality and live it mm -hmm. and make it dominant. Let, let, let me say this, and, and, and this is definitely with all due respect to the Baba, to the, to, the, to the panel here. I'm not going to be vague. I'm not going to sugarcoat. I'm not going to play with anybody. I don't believe in that blind, uh, uh, you, uh, uh, African centralized thinking without it being explained. I don't believe that Africa is a, is, 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 is a country right now. I, I, I pray and want and fight for the United States of Africa, but right now it is not a country, it is a continent. And for us to sit here, even when we say the ancestors became our gods or whatever, we, we, we borderline theology. Now, I thought I was the only religious person on here. I thought oh, I was the only oh, Muslim. Oh, oh. It, is it not? Ahead, is it not? Even re regardless of what, when we start borderline, these are our gods, these are our saints and saviors, we, take, we fall into a trap that we've always fallen into, and that's looking to an individual. So when you see the flaw in that individual, we become disillusioned with whatever movement that that individual represents. Now, with, 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 with Dr. King and with Malcolm X and with everything, I look through his growth through the nation Islam, through Orthodox Islam, through his nationalism and everything, and what I look for is his message. Not so more in the individual, not so much as deifying the individual, not so much as raising the individual to a uh, plateau of the Messiah or the, re the one to return anything, but the message that that individual brought. What we're going to have, and this is my opinion, what I suggest that we do as African people and people of African descent here in the country is we have to be open-minded. We're going to have to listen to the uh, 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 African nationalist Christians, the African nationalist Muslims, the African. If you have African and you're in for the empowerment and liberation of African people, you should be allowed to bring your I whatever to the board. And then we take from that and we look for that empowerment. If we push one centralized like Africa with one country, and if you don't wear dashiki, you're not African. If it ain't I this color, if it ain't right. You know what I'm saying? So I think that our cultural nationalists and our uh, uh, Afrocentrists um, it's their responsibility to break that down into a social, economic, political, realistic thing for us brothers and sisters who don't get, I've already bogged down with enough religion. Let me say this real quick. The reason I brought this up, you know what I'm saying, in dealing with administrations, there's a lot of my Muslim brothers that are offended by you. And I'm no, glad. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And there's a lot of my Christian brothers and sisters that are offended by you because you're now, hold on, hold on. Now you attack. Now, now, hold <laughs> now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, now I'm an don't, atheist. Frankly, my dear, I don't give right, a right. bleep. So right, right. So what I'm saying, <laughs> what I'm saying is that we need to stop causing friction oh, and divide got, amongst oh, our brothers and sisters oh, because these are oh. still our people. That's black nationalists. Right, you know what I'm saying? So, so what I'm saying is that. That's called my, now, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I respect Listen. Islam. I don't. I respect Christianity. I don't. I even respect the religion of Maya. It's a religion all day, every day. And mind. if you look at, if you, if you look up, y'all Google ancient governments, Maya, Egypt, all the dynasty comes under a theocracy. Period. Well, so what I'm saying, hey, hold on, hold on. What I'm saying, what I'm saying, what I'm saying and, and it's Google about respect. Now, huh? She's about respect at the end of the day. Because Listen. we can't get nothing done without respect. You know what I'm saying? We can't get nothing done without talking over each other. You know, we talk about black. we talk about the make white man point, having a, 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 a fork tongue, right? 
Make but we got point. some people who had three cars shuffle time. Point. You know what I'm saying? You mean like so the last saying, show? Oh, hold on, okay, I I'm get saying, it. Hold on, hold on. Hold yeah, on. this is called Mayak bringing the order back and bounce. What I'm saying get your point out, we Black. We need a working system. Mayak yeah. is not the uniting force. Oh, no. As long as you yeah. have people that are offended by it, and, and you got the majority of people who are into Mayak as a religion. They religious with it. We ain't talking and about so, them. So, so like Malcolm X said, hold on, Malcolm X said, let's leave it at the door. Let's deal with economics. Let's deal with food, clothing, shelter. Let's deal with uh, uh, science. Let's deal with technology. Let's deal with defense. This is what I'm saying. Hold, hold on, you know Elder, hold on. Let me get my point, though. Yeah, hold these on. are tangible. That's, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, waste too I've been much waiting, time. but you know what? Hold time. on, hold on. I've been, been waiting, but I'm going to defer to the Elder. Thank you. I've been very brief. Kwame Nkrumah called it consciencism. Mm -hmm. And what he says is that we have to take the positive from all the different uh, uh, religions that, have, that African people practice all over the world and use the positive from each one and come together and fight. That's why Malcolm say, you don't bring your religion to the meeting, mm -hmm. but we come together to fight for a unity of Africa, to feed the hungry, to free the people in captivity, right. to educate the masses right. of the people. Right. And that's so in Kuma called it consciencism. And I want to make this point before I quit. You had men like Malcolm X, who was Islamic, and Sekou Islamic. Toure was Islamic, Martin Luther King and Kwame Nkrumah were both Christians, mm -hmm. uh, Du Bois was an atheist, mm -hmm. uh, Sekou Toure was a devout Muslim, Idi Amin was a devout Muslim, but they all came together and fought for the unity and the liberation of Africa. Right. And the last point I want to make, that in Cuba, where I just left not long ago, you got people down there that practice religions from all over the world. Mm -hmm. And that, I mean, a thousand different religions, they have total freedom of religion, but they all come together to fight for a socialist and, a, uh, and for, to help the world, to make medicine for the world, to give food for the world, and to bring justice for the world. Voodoo. And nobody, voodoo all down. Voodoo. And, that, and nobody is condemned for the religion that they practice, right. and that your religion is based on your experience. Right. If you're in somewhere where they experience traditional Africa or the Mayor, then you practice that. Right. If you now, I'm saying, I, you know, I lean toward traditional Africa, of course. Mm -hmm. Or you can be atheist. Du Bois was an atheist, right. Right. and him and Kwame Nkrumah and Sekou Toure and Martin mm -hmm. King, they loved each other and they fought together for the liberation of Africa. Right. So it's not about religion, it's about are you for Pan-Africanism? Right. Are you for the liberation of the masses? Are you working to organize Africa? Are you, do you belong to an organization? Are you trying to feed the hungry? Are you trying to stop all the injustice that our people are facing I, I, I do all over the world? Do Black, you don't no, gotta do that, it's my turn. No, we're not, ain't nobody talking, ain't nobody talking. If Uncle okay. don't get to talk yes, on this road, then ain't nobody talking. Show respect, we ain't doing respect, He gotta show man. respect. I'm, hold on, okay. Wait, right, he gotta show respect. Don't get it right. No, I wasn't, I ain't been talking all day. Okay. Here's my point. I wanna clear up the nonsense about the ancestors not being gods. Excuse me, do you know your great-grandmother's name? Yeah. Do you know your great-grandfather's name? Yeah. I'm looking at him right now. Yeah. That checkmate. Now, the point, be, because, because, hold on, hold on. No, because you don't see, think, that's hold on, here you go, what's you ain't You don't think you're a force of nature, bro? I know I'm a force of nature, but Thank I'm not you. God. So watch this. So for I mean, the African, God and nature is one and the same. That's why I say checkmate. But see, that's the get that? You get that? No, it's not. That's all it is. Because all we, all it is, is me and you, bro. Right, exactly. But when you make that God, when you make that That's just a terminology. Hold on. The elder said it. To the African mindset, a god was a wise elder. He sits as god on the panel. Then why can't be a wise god? elder? Why gotta right. be god? No, because listen, because from you the African, look, the wise old elder in people's religions became god. So you mean god. to tell me in every Africa, this is what I'm saying, this yes. is what gets me about the Afrocentrists. Yes. So in all yes. of Africa, in all, you mean to tell me when I go research in all of Africa, when yes. I look up, yes. they respected their elders as God. Yeah. So you, y you okay. standing on that too? I don't know about God. God. Okay, God. somebody say something. I mean, somebody hey, oh, say something. Oh, oh. God is you know, I'm bring word. It. Next yeah. week. You know, Listen, I, got to I don't want to use the word God, but yeah, all I'm saying, the ancestors was highly respected. Yes. And that's all. And look See? to and guide. Our ancestors guide and direct us in See? our thoughts right. or so whatever. Now, the last point I wanted to make is that the, an, <laughs> the ancestors, the ancestors that we have to look at, but when we look at nature, we explain nature, the right. sun, the wind, right. the rain, the, the uh, 
in all okay. aspects. But Bob, we I'm make, sorry to cut you off. Okay, brother, no, why can I finish just, my point? That's why I'm, I'm, I'm going to you. But we were scientists. Don't say and say we were yeah, spooky and everything science. was God. We were, science. we were scientists. We were scientific. And if we thought everything was God, we would still we evolved. We would still be worshiping the sun exactly. instead of learning how to harness and, and use solar power. Wait, you have worship. to evolve. All right, hold on. Hold you, on, hold you, on. you said hold I could on, worship on. the sun high noon and the most high. That's why we're going to have the Black Atheist Study Show. We're going to be sitting on there with our information. Now, you told me that I did not respect Christians and Muslims. I'm sorry. Nobody respects the African thing in this world. I'm here, deemed by the ancestors to make them respect Africa. I do not respect Christianity, Islam, or Judaism. You can write down in your own family, they do not respect black African power. They don't. You know it and I know it. They do not respect black atheism. They do not understand what it is. So why the hell do I gotta respect theirs? I don't care about them Christians, bro. They need to get some study time up, then they won't be Christians no more. Well, you know, let, let me say this. They need to do. I would rather get them study time on, on technology, like you were saying, gang. I'm, I'm with that. I got time to be debating on with I totally agree. You know what I'm saying? I totally agree. Because I know some group good Christians. You know Did what I'm saying? You? I know some, oh, excellent Muslims. I do my Muslims. mother, my mother good Christians. I know some excellent <laughs> Muslims. Right, right. So, so the point that I'm making is that we spend too much, it, it's too dogmatic talking, you know, you know. I hear your point, Black. Are y'all willing, willing to allow a Muslim to sit at the top of African new civilization? Yes or no? I'm not. Are you willing to allow a Christian to sit at the top of an African I'm brand not. new African? Right, nobody. I'm not. First of all, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah. I'm willing to allow an African. And if I, he yeah. hold on, if he see what we have is a misunderstanding. See, the elder said it the wait, best. Y'all can be winding. Hold on. Let me, let me hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. Hold on. Y'all can be hold on. Y'all can be winding the tape. The elder explained it because he's the wise old elder. He is showing how he came in, right? He understands the dynamics of the conversation mm -hmm. and he brought the Balancing force, whether it's Kulu. Because he agreed with you? No, he didn't agree right, with exactly. me. Hold on. My ancestors was No, 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 he didn't agree. No, I love my hold on, elder, hold on. But he I did not agree with you. That. Hold on. He didn't agree. What he did was he combined our thoughts and ideas yes. and expressed it in a godlike manner. In an ancestor, an elder, a wise old elder manner. That's the point. See, we got a lot of miseducation going on. Black son make the point of, wait a minute, he run across people spooked out. He do. You go to the black community where they think they practice my yacht, right? They woo woo, but over there sleep with somebody else people. Okay, so hold on. That how's that order in the community? Right. It's one thing I my respect. Whole, oh, go sorry, ahead, go ahead, please, Yang. I want to go ahead. Go ahead. Sure? My yeah. whole thing is I'm looking at me because we can sit here and discuss this till the cows come home. But when you talk about either Christians or Muslims, the Muslims have outproduced the African centralist people because we're still caught up on spookism and culturalism until we move into a social economic don't say culturalism. culturalism. Did, you, and I'm did tell you, you get the and definition? You missed that, and right? Say, yeah, I missed the definition point, of culturalism. And, and why I'm going to say culturalism be brief because it doesn't just end there. It doesn't just end with culture. You can have a return to the culture, but if we don't have a if we don't have a social economic system and a means of producing and a means of di distributing the goods, then we can have all the culture we want, which a lot of the Afrocentric have. But look at the look at the dashikis, look at the red, black, and green flags. That's your culturalism for you. That made something. Right. Let black go. Black ain't saying nothing. All right. All right. So one, one last. <laughs> you gotta let the elder go. You gotta let the elder go. You gotta respect the elder. I'm not saying that our ancestors were God. Oh, I'm yeah. saying our ancestors was highly respected yes, right. and that the only way we're going to move forward is look at our ancestors. I mean, for not just mom and dad, the grandmom and great grandmom, but we need to look at that going back thousands of years and they will guide us and show us and bring us closer together and make us love each other. Oh, Go ahead, Black. You know what I'm saying? All right. Go ahead, Black. How you, Black? About uh, Black Power. <laughs> hold on, you got a minute left? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. So one more thing, because man, it's all been all over the place. Listen. Next week, <laughs> we're going to finish up the yeah, government cool. structure, because we really didn't finish it. I really, I really wanted well, to kind of critique. No, I wanted, I wanted to critique these, these working systems now, right? Because yeah, but you, I want to put implement. Africa in the crazy category, yo. I didn't oh, put, no, no, give no, no, me no, one no, European listen, civilization listen, that lasted man. longer than 30, than 1,000 years. I'm not Does anybody have one? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, oh, I'm talking you about, read from governmental uh, systems that don't last longer than a thousand years, and then you call the one that's three, four, three. government hold systems that are actually in the distortion of the black civilization. Black son, black son. Yeah. no, no, a black son. Actually, hold Chancellor on. Williams. Black son, when you read, listen, when you read them, right, mm -hmm. you called with a little joke, kind of slick tone that, no, my, hold on, that Egypt was a theocracy. It well, then maybe theocracy. we need to practice that because they 5,000 years, 30,000 years. Go, but, but see, I don't think we should Africa. go back to must be free. Must be free. If we're going to have power and respect, power, Africa man. must be free. 
And that they my brothers though. That's a and we are that. African yeah. people. That's yeah. my piece on that. That's I just want to make sure I got my piece because yeah, I now sure. I calm back down now. I'm good. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So that gotta be made up. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So keeping Saturdays and studying on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Studied myself right out of the pool. Black atheist. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. 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 Make us believe. Black atheist. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So keeping Saturdays and studying on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Studied myself right out of the pool. Black atheist. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So that gotta be made up too. Make us believe. Black atheist. 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 People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So that gotta be made up. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So keeping Saturdays and studying on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. Studied myself right out of the pool. Black atheist. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. So that gotta be made up too. So that gotta be made up too. Make us believe. Black atheist. Black atheist. People made up religion. God is the star of the show. So that gotta be made up too. 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 So that gotta be